Welcome back to another episode guys. So in this week's video we leave the Gibb River and we head over to Leonard Campground. On our way we pull into Manning Gorge, take the treacherous hike all the way through, swim over the other side of the river and we also call into Mount Barnett for fuel. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. We'll get in with this week's video. So we finally made it to Mount Barnett and we're on our way into Manning Gorge now. Uh, we filled up there. We didn't end up getting any footage at Ellenbury Station. We pulled in and we were a little bit late. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit... Not what it's all up cracked to be, that's for sure. I. Uh, We've got a good thoughts and opinion on the Gibbon Road now after visiting a Ellenbury. Anyway, that's for another video. No more negatives today. All on to the positives. Another positive, we paid $2.93 per litre. <laughs> anyway, um, we got some bacon and egg burgers from the roadhouse there with all the locals and what else what else to report oh, just so you're aware that servo does not open until 8.30 not any time before so if you do rock up early just be expected it's 8.30 the only other thing I wasn't really super impressed about is you can't really enter Manning Gorge and like if you're on a day permit you can't really enter until you've paid your day permit so if you wanted to come into Manning Gorge first thing in the morning you're not going to be able to enter until after 8 30 after you've paid your permit um yeah anyway that is what it is unfortunately it would be all right if you had had a camp here and then you could go the next morning after after you've stayed the night Anyway, we last night we had a good little campsite. Uh, it was at the turn off towards Derby and Mitchell Falls, where, where the T junction there splits. And yeah, it was just just north, about two or three k's, and that was quite nice on the river there. There's a few mozzies around. There's heaps of people there. It is a bit of a caravan park sort of vibe. Uh, but other than that, it's alright. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're going to head on into Manning Gorge now. And we'll show you guys along the way. There we go, that was a gorgeous swim across. A bit deep towards the end. And we were helping out another couple that had a, um, had some bags. So it was only one tub to bring across. So waited for them. Anyway, so now I'm with the hike. Yeah, it's probably two and a half k's in. A bit rocky. Looks like it's a bit sandy as well. There we go. Anyway, the swim itself was probably good enough for us to turn back, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep walking. So as you see, it's quite a bit of uphill hiking at the start here. Bit of a rocky sort of hike to contend with. And there's heaps of rock piles around. <laughs> anyway, we'll add our rocks on the way down. We'll add them to the piles. And there's another lovely boab tree up here as well. 
Oh, we'll keep going. It feels like we're not too far from the top now. Then it's all probably it's all probably just a walk down, I'd say. After that, but apparently it's harder getting harder going in than coming out. So I feel like this must be the worst of it, probably. We're approaching another rock bowl. Look, they're just huge. Massive. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Be a shame if there was any crocs in here. Anyway, the walk from up there is pretty Tetris. So I'm going to keep walking on the ledge here, underneath there. Looks like there's heaps of people already enjoying it. Anyway, almost there. So we actually managed to find some Aboriginal art on the one of the cliff faces down here at Manning Gorge. I'll give you a bit of a spin around in a sec, but um, yeah, it's it's a magnificent swim down here. It is a long hike, and right at the end, it is a big cliff face. You kind of have to, not really a cliff face, but yeah, it's just all rugged, rugged rocks off the edge of the cliff face. You kind of have to sort of like stumble down. Now, I'll spin you around and I'll show you. There's one just here, and there's another piece up there. Pretty cool to see all this way down here. Anyway, we're going to start the climb up, and yeah, I'll show you this gnarly rocky area you got you got to walk up. But there's also a little cliff area. I'll spin you around. You've got to walk past that rock there. It's a bit of a drop down below you. Anyway, it is a magnificent view from up here. It's lovely. Oh yeah, we'll get going. See, this is the rocky sort of stuff that I was talking about. It's not really built to be a path. Anyway, you got to get it done sometimes. It's all worth it. So we made it out of Manning Gorge. I we did get burnt on the way out of there. We had a bit of a swim once we got back to the Karen Park area there. And then we had a little shower and we headed off out of there. And now we're here at some lookout. I'm not really too sure what it is. It's got a bit of a cliff view. There's been plenty of roadworks along the way as well. Looks like they're doing a few little upgrades, replaced a few pipes under the ground. Um, just for water to run off the hills. As you get this side of Imminti I'm not really too sure how to how to say it unfortunately. I'll put the correct spelling on the screen anyway. And the yeah the scenery does change. It's very very hilly. There was another campground just back from where we are here that did actually look quite nice down in the hills. It'd probably get quite a few mozzies though. Um because obviously you know quite a bit of water running through there. And there's plenty of more cows, a bit more wildlife on the road around here. Anyway, we're going to keep on pushing. Uh, we did pass Leonard Gorge, Galvin Gorge and Bell Gorge. We didn't stop in any of those. I uh, Just a little bit too gorged out and the legs got a bit sunburnt from the first one today. Anyway, so we're going to push on through to Leonard uh, Campground. I've had a bit of a bit of a mishap with the battery. I've had to move the freezer into the car and run that off the car as the battery seems to be dropping more and more more cells. So we've only got about 50% of the capacity of this lithium battery now, probably not even that. Anyway, we're going to keep pushing. I'll give you guys a bit of a show of the scenery. We're getting close to camp now. 
as you can see there's a bit of a haze, a bit of a smoke haze as we're entering. And you can see here, I'll zoom you guys in, Queen Victoria's head at the end of the rock up there. And it looks like there is a station farmer waiting for me with all my dust. Anyway, we'll keep pushing on. Look at that. Check out the scenery, it just keeps changing. There's more wallabies across the road just here as well. So that'll do for this week's episode, guys. This was meant to be the last episode, but unfortunately I've ran out of space. So we are making one more episode for the Gib. Anyway, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in next week's episode.